What's going on everybody? So today I just wanted to make a quick video of five things I love about my Mitsubishi Lancer. Last week I did the 10th or the five things I didn't like but this week we're doing the opposite and before we get too far in this video I just want to ask if you guys do enjoy it please feel free to leave a like it does help me in the channel out a lot. If you want to see more of my content please feel free to subscribe as again it does help me in the channel out a lot and without further ado let's get into it. So to start off first and foremost, very easily, the looks of this car are quite beautiful in the exterior. From the aggressive headlights to the aggressive arrow on it, the big spoiler, the skirting, all of that. I don't know if this is a separate package, I have, but I've had people ask me where I got my stuff from. If it is something that's not base model, which I thought I had, please let me know. But again, the, the headlights, the slight tilt on them, the slant, just make them look super aggressive and Everything just about this car is very, very nice and pleasing to look at from the exterior. Even the grill, it's super small at the top, and there's the brake in it, and then the big grill at the bottom. I think a lot of it just adds up to being a very nice looking car. Secondly is the reliability of the car. This car, in Mitsubishi in general, is known to have extremely reliable cars, and this one's shown for me. The only problem I've ever had was for safety, which I had to replace a tie rod end, and that was it. I've never had any issues with the engine, and I've left it pretty low for oil changes and whatnot but i've never had any issues whatsoever no suspension problem no problem anywhere else other than that one tie rod end the next one is the drivability factor of the car i honestly don't mind it like the the seats are pretty comfortable the car is honestly pretty comfortable all in all other than the wheels i have which are aftermarket but other than that i think the car is extremely comfortable it has the features that you need like this the seat warmers and AC and I know you can get packages with the all-wheel drive which would be extremely helpful but honestly other than like there's nothing I could say I'm missing for a car that uh, for pretty much a base model car and even on top of that the fuel economy is really good like, I I get about I got about 600 kilometers to my last tank for about four 60 bucks to fill up which 45 liters or so and 600 kilometers is pretty good. I can't complain about that fuel economy, especially with my other cars. That's like 400 kilometers for 80 bucks, like my G. So, I would recommend this car, especially if it's a daily driver going to work and back. That's exactly what I use it for, and it works perfectly. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about was kind of part of the drivability, but it's not. This car is probably the easiest car I've ever driven, especially the easiest manual I've ever driven for certain. I've driven a Kia Forte, Mazda 3, I've driven several manual cars, Ford Fusion, and nothing. everything pales in comparison to this. I don't know what it is, I think it's the light shift, or the light clutch especially, the tall shifter, just the drivability of this car mixed with the fact of driving manual, it makes it so easy. The tall shifter is amazing because you can relax and you don't have to, it's comfortable where it's sitting and the throws are nice and long and you don't have to worry about missing a gear or throwing it in the wrong gear or anything like that. The clutch is super, super soft so you don't have to, like, it's super comfortable. That's what I'm trying to say. Easiest car I've ever driven in my life, especially manual. Easiest manual car ever. The last thing for the five things I love is the huge aftermarket support for this car. If you go online and you look at any website that does aftermarket uh, performance modifications, body modifications, anything, there will be pages for Mitsubishi Lancers. There's such a big aftermarket for them because they were such a sought, I don't want to say sought after, but they were such a loved car when it first came out and even to this day that there was just so many parts coming out for it and so many people trying to build it their own specific way and that's what you can do with it. So there's so much customization and it's amazing what you can do with this car so those are the five things i absolutely love about my mitsubishi lancer i have the 2010 manual but comment down below if you like the lancers let me know if you'd ever buy one or not i asked this on my poll on instagram a little bit ago and i got i believe very close to 50 50 if not so let me know in the comments below other than that i think that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching it if you liked it please leave a like it does help me in the channel out a lot and if you want to see more of my content please feel free to subscribe as again it does help me in the channel out a lot i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching peace